Hello everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast. For this episode, I want to feature an application for the iPad. It's called Pacemaker, and it reinvents DJing on the iPad. Let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and open this application up. Right along the top, you can see a place for loading tracks. I'm going to go ahead and load a track from my library. I'm going to scoot on down to a playlist I set up called House. I'm going to import a song there, and then I'm going to go to the top left, and I'm going to import another song into the left turntable. And you can see the turntables are a lot more simplified. Okay, I got my second song in. Beautiful design, nice colors. I'm going to go ahead now and just start playing my first song. And you don't have the virtual turntables as you would have in earlier versions of, say, iOS 6. Here we have an app that is consistent with the designs for iOS 7. Flat, colors, yet still does the job. Now what I'm going to do is slide on over to the right hand side. I tap the little circle in the middle to sync the beats per minute. So I should get a nice smooth transition here. So I'm transitioning from the first song on the left hand turntable to the song that's on the right hand turntable as I'm sliding over from left to right. Pretty smooth transition. Love it. I love the minimalist design. Another thing you can do is record. So I just click the record button up top. And you can see the seconds are advancing. I'm now recording my mix. And I'm going to start going in the opposite direction so that I can record the mix once again. This time going from the right turntable to the left turntable. What's really nice is how smooth the mixes are. All you have to do is hit the sync button in the middle and every mix is smooth as silk. And you have to love the technology that comes with this application. And you also see too that there are some icons in the top middle. I'm going to press on one of those so you can get an idea of some of the options you have here. So on the wrench icon, you see you can purchase more additional effects. And you can even control the split output as well as a number of other controls in the settings mode. Now when you tap on any turntable, you get a menu of options and you, you can then use your finger and just twirl it around to increase the effect. So in this case, I just increased the treble. Now I just pressed on bass, use my finger to twirl around and I just increase the bass. Really nice user interface. You can press on the FX to get rid of the effects or to bring them right back. Now I'm just gonna go back to the beginning and, and, take, out, and take out the effect. You can also share your mixes on Facebook and Twitter. And that is Pacemaker. Check it out in iTunes. The app is free.